welcome back to lab lifestyle so so in today's video we are going to see and pre preparation so for every cooking it's mandatory for us to use ginger garlic and most of us we used to buy outside and we use it and, and some people do prepare at home and store it so in this video i plan to share with you guys like once you prepare the ginger garlic paste and store it for one year and you can use and many of you have a doubt that uh, ginger garlic paste storage of ginger garlic paste might spoil so in this video i'm going to share with you guys how to use ginger garlic paste wait for one year and also how do you store it once you grind it and how do you store it so all those in useful information only i'm going to share in this video today guys so i hope you will like this video and i have detailedly explained so i have detailed it in this video clearly how do you grind it and how do you store it and refrigerate it so guys in this way if you make you will definitely save your money and also you can use ginger garlic paste which is an immunity booster i hope you'll like this video for sure if you have liked it make sure you subscribe to lab lifestyle and also hit the like button to this video so here i have taken 2 kilos of ginger and 2 kilos of garlic which are chopped and peeled out skin peeled out so uh, ginger you have to peel the skin wash it properly and then you have to uh, uh, slice it into small small pieces and dry it very well after drying both ginger and garlic you can do in this format which i'm showing so here i have taken around four kilos both in quantities and then now started grinding it so for grinding initially i have taken rock salt because if you add rock salt in the bottom of the jar what it happens is it will grind properly and it will be easy to use in case if you are using some missionaries near your house this process is not required so we don't give it outside so we do at home itself that's the reason we add this magic here like adding salt and then adding the uh, then on top of it we'll be adding the ginger garlic so in this format you have to uh, check in between twice like that whether it has grinded properly so it should come to the fine paste so guys here one more thing is that you should add even the turmeric powder so actually we are doing large in quantity that's the reason we'll add turmeric at the last and mix together well in full quantity and then start the preservation process so now just the grinding process i'm showing you here in the end of the video there will be the mixing of the turmeric powder along with this paste and then storing in the boxes will be shown so guys if you see here the paste is well grinded so it's very nice and smooth in paste this is how we actually uh, start grinding it so this is the second time i'm doing like this uh, almost like six to seven times the jar i have uh, started the jar and then grinding it uh, and i have completed the complete process in an 30 minutes so within 30 minutes you will be able to uh, grind all this ginger garlic into a fine paste so that this paste actually for our family of five members we use it for more than one year because uh, outside for a 10 rupees ginger garlic paste you get just a spoon or one and a half spoons of paste that's it but using this ginger garlic frequently is really good for your immunity booster also and few people basically don't have time for doing all these things so what you can do is you can do it yearly once and do Mixed in this format and color. preserve it so that whenever you find time you do it in that case what happens you avoid uh, buying it outside because we don't know like what type of ginger or garlic they actually uh, grind it right so now here is the final output so all the ginger garlic of four kilos has come uh, to, uh, to an around um, five kilos completely adding salt and then the turmeric has been added and then nicely mixed and now this has been stored into two various boxes and refrigerated 